it completely slipped my mind that Gigantamax Machamp was an event, believe it or not. I have not been on Pokemon since our last video. So, um, how are you guys doing today? It is your boy, Daddy Mac. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and do this Machamp raid right before we go ahead and get started on our, on our weekly battles. So, my colleague here, I don't know what his name is, but he's the one that's doing the raid, has a Mewtwo. As you can see on your screen right there, but if you guys have not watched the previous video, make sure you guys go back and watch it. It was actually a really good battle for our first battle with this team, so I'm actually pretty happy. I cannot believe I expected that Mew. Maybe an indicator that I'm higher level or actually EV trained. My, there's a chance my opponent's not necessarily EV trained, but Max Mind from Connects. Nice. Nice. Now, if if this Eevee and the Snorlax can just do something, I would appreciate that. Max Flare towards Mewtwo. Not going to do any damage. So, hmm, maybe this Mewtwo is actually trained a specific way. I don't know. What do I know? Well, um, what? I don't even know how to start. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I hope you guys are doing really good. Um, I don't know what to say either. You guys are probably going to be watching this late on Monday. I'm recording on the same Monday this is going up. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of editing as well. So I hope everybody's being safe out there with, you know, with all the coronavirus stuff going on. I, I really hope you guys are, are safe uh, over in my town. I'm not sure how everybody in other cities are reacting. But in my particular, oh, that doctor has a, has a little ID badge. I didn't know that. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, in my city, not too long ago, they actually there was people raiding stores, buying a lot of toilet paper, and actually fighting for it. So I don't know if that's a whole wide world kind of thing or just like just just something that's going on in my particular city. But I hope you guys are really being safe out there. You know, be careful. There's a lot of people that uh, can be a little bit. They're they're not necessarily in the right mental state when it comes to these things, uh, and they can you know really, in my personal opinion. The way people react scare me a lot more than the coronavirus. That, that's just how I'm going to put it. But I know, I know I'm getting way off topic here, but you guys stay safe. That's, that's just all I want to say while we try to catch this Gigantamax Machamp. Hopefully we are able to catch it because I actually want to build a team around Machamp. Not necessarily for this next team because I have something planned already, but for the team after the next team. So let's see. I'm going to land the final blow, and I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a Bolt Strike. Zekrom is my favorite legendary Pokemon. Oh, wow. I, 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 I finished it regardless. That didn't do as much as I thought it would, but this my champ's going down. All right. Ultra Ball, here we go. That's that's a big hint right there. So our not the next team, but the team after, we're going Ultra Ball. If we can just catch this bad boy, maybe lower the volume down just a little bit, because that's kind of loud. Uh, how's that? That's about the same. Maybe a little better. What about... Okay, that's good right there. Let's go. Come on. One. Two. Three. All we need to do is for it to click. We're doing a Machamp team, boys. We're doing a Machampion team. I'm really happy I caught this thing. Let's take a look here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, let's go ahead and get our battle started. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are against Guido09 in this particular battle. The beautiful part that I find is that he has no legendaries. Sure, he has the mythical Pokemon Mew. I don't really consider mythical Pokemon legendaries. I consider them mythical Pokemon. Now, taking a look at his team, who is he going to start with is the biggest question. He has a couple of Gigantamax factors. Of course... Any Pokemon can Dynamax, so it's a little bit hard to kind of pinpoint who is going to be his his uh, Dynamax factor. But I feel really comfortable starting with with Obstagoon. I want to say Obstagoon, but I'm not sure. So how about we start with Sigilyph? Probably should go with my gut feeling with Obstagoon, but I don't I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. So we're gonna go ahead and start with Sigilyph. If my opponent starts Vikavolt, I can switch into Conkelder. If he starts Gengar, I can hit him with a Psychic. So there's that. 
Dracovich, I can hit him. Dracovich is a very slow Pokemon, so I'm not 100% scared of him. I am scared switching into it, don't get me wrong, but not very scared about it. Oh, Guido, we have matching cards, though mine is a little bit better. Probably a little biased, but look at my hair right here. Uh, no, it's this way. It's like sticking out really weird. Fortnite? The Vickable. Why did you nickname that thing Fortnite? I need to adjust my headset. Someone's calling me. Someone was calling me, and as you can see, my Zelda ringtone. All right. So here comes the Vickable. Like I said, we're switching into the Kinkelder here. I really messed up my headset. It's not comfortable right now. All right, Kinkelder should be able to take any hit this Vickable throws at me. Sticky Web. That's a little bit concerning. I don't have the fastest team in the world though. So I guess I'm not very scared, but I feel really safe just going for a Stone Edge. Vickable is very frail, so. I'm sure it'll go down with the Stone Edge. I did not know Vickavolt gets Sticky Web. That's really cool. Now, Pokemon that resist the Stone Edge. I don't think he really has. I'm Assault Vested, so... I'm taking this pretty well. I took a little bit more damage than I would like. But the Stone Edge almost does the trick. Not necessarily. I'm gonna have to go Drain Punch here. Guillotine? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I've never come across a battler who runs guillotine. Getting a little tiny bit of damage. Better than none, to be honest. I really hope he brings in a special attacker next. If he brings in Gengar, I am a Mew. Mew is coming out. Obviously a psychic type. I'm not staying in against it. In fact, I'm actually going into the Obstagoon. Now, Obstagoon... I'm, I'm really... Mew is really scary because it could learn every move in the book. And I'm really scared of an Aurosphere here. Really scared of it. Nasty plot. That's a little bit scary. Just a little bit, though. So now, what is my opponent going to want to go to? Or what is he going to want to do? I'm going to scout and go for an obstruct here. Man, that's a plus three Mew now. That's If that's not scary, then I don't know what is. Come on, Obstagoon. Let's do this. Obstruct? If you go Aurasphere, I'm getting the heck out of here. Aura Sphere. It's a good thing I went for the. All right. Now, if he goes Aura Sphere, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Runarigus. Um, maybe Sigilyph. Though I'm very scared of the Mew, to be honest. I am. I'm terrified. All right, Runarigus. Here we go. I don't necessarily want to sack our wall right off the bat, but we'll see. Get stuck in the sticky web. Our sphere not not gonna affect me. So now I kind of want to go for the rocks. I kind of want to go for the rocks, but I also want to do damage to this thing in case something I hit it with doesn't knock it out. Yeah, I'm gonna go Nightshade because it's, it's just safe. This is gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. I'm glad I went for the Nightshade because next I'm gonna go Sigilyph. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna click Shadow Ball with Sigilyph, quite frankly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nasty plot again. Okay, so I'm comfortable with this given that Sigilyph is my is my focus sashed Pokemon. My opponent just got a little bit greedy here. I really wish I saved my Runerigus for the Kamo, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Thank goodness Sigilyph doesn't get affected by the sticky web, so there is that. Here comes the Sigilyph. Sigilyph should be an unknown evolution. 
All right, Shadow Ball. This should knock it out, and we should live any hit this thing throws at us. I outspeed. That's good news. That's a relief. Mew goes down. Plus six Mew is no match for me. Absolutely no match. We're two to... Let's see. So he's down two, which means it's four to five right now. Given that we have one Pokemon that's down. Bring in... If you bring in the gang, the Gengar's coming out. That's not too bad. So part of me wants to hit Thunder Wave. Part, the other part of me wants to hit Psychic. So I'm going to go Thunder Wave and then go to Psychic. I don't think I'll outspeed the Gengar, given that it's really fast compared to my Zygalith. And it's a Gigantamax Gengar. It's, it's Gigantamax, right? You gotta tell me it's Gigantamax. If it's not, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. It's Gigantamax. I knew it. I've never seen one in battle. Never ever have I seen one in battle. That's beautiful. Alright, here comes the Thunder Wave. Or he, he's actually gonna outspeed. No, I outspeed. This team is absolutely beautiful. You can hit me with G-Max Terror. What is that? What is the secondary effect? I'm living, obviously. What does this do? Focus Sash. I can no longer escape. That's what it does. Alright, I'm going Psychic, given that it's Stab. Man, that does some damage! Cursed Body disables my Psychic. Not a big deal, given that I'm going down here. Now, if Ziggalith outspeeds... I'm pretty sure that Obstagoon will outspeed also. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm all certain Obstagoon's gonna outspeed here. All right, so I think the move to go to is obviously going to be the throat chop, knock this thing out, which just once and for all. When the Kamo comes out, what do I want to do? I need to be prepared for the Kamo. It's probably going to be a special attacking Kamo. It's a close battle. It's still a really close battle, so I can't really necessarily... I can't necessarily get too confident or cocky. Obstagoon hurt by poison. Part of me wishes I was running a little bit of a reckless Obstagoon here. But it is what it is. Corbin Knight. I'm packing the fire punch for you, boy. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go for the obstruct. Please tell me I outspeed this. I think I outspeed the Corbin Knight. He's probably gonna go body press. Iron defense! That's worse. That's worse. I uh, should have gone for the fire punch. I have no status moves. A lot of players have been running the... Hmm. I'm gonna try to go for a fire punch and hopefully burn this thing. Burn it, please? No? Iron defense again. My opponent's probably gonna roost. Knowing, looking at how he's playing right now, he's probably gonna roost. I'm perfectly okay with that because I feel like this is a good chance for me to switch. Um, do I need Obstagoon? Do I let him go down here? I don't really need him. So I'm going Fire Punch again. Hopefully, he leaves a burn. That didn't do anything. Iron defense. Now it's at plus six. Now he's going to go for a roost. He has to go for a roost. You have to. I'm still going to let Obstagoon go down. Probably not the best move in the world. I don't believe his Corbin Eye is going to be very bulky in the special side. All I got to do is hit it with an overdrive and I'm pretty comfortable. I'm just waiting for my Obstagoon to go down, to be honest, at this point. Doesn't restore all of the HP, but it restores most. Yeah, so at this point, I'm just gonna let Obstagoon go down. I'm gonna go for another Fire Punch, hoping it burns this thing at least. I know that's asking for a little too much, but... If I burn it, it's gonna minimize all the damage. Okay. 
I knew he was gonna go for another roost. And this right here is a perfect opportunity for me to go into my Toxtricity. And maybe, just maybe, get a sweep going. Toxtricity is gonna be my best bet at knocking this thing out, given that it's it's really bulky in the physical side. Alright, Toxtricity, let's do this. Let's knock this thing out right here. So let's gonna we're gonna hit it with an with an overdrive. And hope for the best. Knock it out, boys! I haven't I haven't gigantamaxed. We're at a plus two. He's gonna go Kamo next, and because of that. How fast is Kamo compared to talk Kamo is Dracovich is coming out. That's a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I want to go for a max ooze or a stun shock. Um, I'm plus two already. Stun shock is gonna be the better move in regards to power. I'm going stun shock. I'm pretty comfortable at a plus two to be honest. His Kamo is a little bit scary. That's one thing that does scare me, to be honest. But, so far it's looking good for us. We just, not, we just need Toxicity to live whatever this, whatever Dracovish is gonna throw at us. Vicious Rend? No! I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was way too good to be true. We're going down here. This is where it ends. This is what it comes down to, man. I I knew this this thing had to be choice banded then. We're not we're not we're not outspeeding this thing by all means. Ah, uh, I really wish I had the the mock punch or something. That's banded. And that's going to be the battle. Ah, oh, that's really upsetting. That's really upsetting. I have to go Psychic Fangs here. He still outspeeds me, and I'm a, I'm a fast bear Scuda. That's the battle. That hurts my soul. And Guido, that's a good battle. That's a really good battle, Guido. It hurt. That loss hurt a lot. Um, I could have probably played a little bit better. But it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know that battle took a whole 180 given that the Dracovish came out. It's that sticky web, to be honest. That's the sticky web is is the difference maker within that team, and that's what turned everything around. But I should have saved my Sigilif, given that he had his. Uh, I really don't know if there's anything I could have done, to be honest with you. But thank you guys again for watching. My name is Daddy Mac. Make sure you guys comment down below on who the MVP of the battle was, um, and let me know what your thoughts about the battle were. Subscribe to my channel. We upload Pokemon videos every single week, but I will see you guys on Friday. Have a great week, guys.